Here's a word from our sponsor. Hello, my friend. Are you frustrated with the machinations of Western women? It's not your fault, it's theirs. So what can be done? Try some Eastern European women, straight from the FSU to you, ready to be swept off their dainty little feet. I mean, what else is she going to do? Go out with some guy wearing a tracksuit? If you're interested, go to simplydating.com using the affiliate link provided in the video description. Sign up today, and remember, the more services you purchase, the closer you'll be to finding her. Go forth and find your little Diev. <laughs>
these statues of Roman people. Here's Octavian, Augustus Caesar, who Suetonius describes as having straw-colored hair. Here's the much crappier Emperor Nero, who ironically looks like a slovenly white nationalist neckbeard with the red hair and everything. I'm honestly surprised that the new classics departments aren't trying to say that Julius and Augustus Caesar were people of color, but Nero was a white man. Because Nero was bad, you see. Much like with the ancient Egyptian race controversy, there are many examples of the Greeks and Romans portraying themselves very differently to explicitly dark-skinned people. But hey, who are you going to believe? The woke classics department or your own lion eyes? If you don't want to look at art, we can look at the DNA evidence. Oh, look at that. The modern Greeks and Italians are basically identical to their ancient forebears. There is no evidence that the core population of Greece or Rome were POCs, and all the evidence to suggest that they were, like their modern forebears, swarthy and dark-haired but unmistakably European. Perhaps not white by whatever obtuse metric is used by either white supremacists or humanities professors but certainly Caucasian, this should not be an issue that needs to be discussed any further than this. The Greeks and the Aetis are European, and those people have the same proto-Indo-European genetic heritage as pretty much everyone else in Europe. Now, whether or not they'll start seeing themselves as people of color to get that sweet, sweet grievance money, that is a social issue, and it's perhaps one to look at another time. I will just point out that Hispanics and Arabs were once seen as white people in America, but they chose not to be, specifically because being an aggrieved minority gets you more money and privilege. The whole concept of not seeing yourself as white is indeed the entirety of the whiteness is a social construct, Ta-Nehisi Coates bullshit you see the chattering people yakking about. The existence of European ethnicity and ancestry is an objective fact. But to sum things up, the ancient Egyptian black hypothesis is wrong, and the hypothesis that the ancient Greeks were black is somehow even more wrong and stupid, and can be debunked in about five different ways. So, contra to what the woefully incompetent Donna Zuckerberg, Mark's fail sister, thinks, no, the statues were not whitewashed to promote white supremacy because when they had paint on them, they were painted to look like white people because they were goddamn white people. I'm Larson Halleck, and I appreciate humanity in all of its splendor. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hello, are you a fan of Larson Halleck and the Barbaric Gentleman? Of course you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching. Would you like to help the channel grow? Would you like to help me out? If so, here's how you can. You can go to patreon.com slash larsenhalleck and join the ranks of these illustrious heroes. You can also go to www.paypal.me slash larsenhalleck to also donate some money. You can also buy my book. The Patreon, the PayPal, and the link to my book are all found in the video description. You can also follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. I no longer advertise my Gab because Gab sucks. Otherwise, enjoy, keep watching the videos, and spread the word.